Okay, you're good to go. Yeah, like now we started. Okay. We're ready. We're starting now. Oh, no. All right. Shelter simulations 101. There we go. All right. Anyway, um, what do you want to do for us today? I'm gonna do um sheltering simulations like a destructions with a building and also a second one I'm gonna put like some waters on top. Just like Jun told me like how like tsunami destroyed like a building or something. But it's gonna be simple. It's gonna be simple. So um yeah, let's get started. All right, I pre-made a um, building in Maya before, so I'm just gonna import it from my hard drive. One second. Uh, what one is my hard drive? That's a question. Okay. Mm. Hold on. I'm sorry. I don't know which one is my hard drive. It's it's E. All right, there we go. And <laughs> and Houdini and that one. Right. Main building. There we go. So that's oh. the uh, <laughs> that's the building I made in Maya. So what we're gonna do first, we gotta put um, ground planes first. That's what I like to do first. And then we select the main building, and we go to model shelter. There we go. And if you wanna increase, if you wanna increase the uh, the pieces of the building, go on this knot right here. Let's go on. Chunk center. Where is so, um, inside, um, Your model the, yeah, the model, the model lock, and um, there's gonna be chunk center. Yeah, yeah, chunk center. And at the moment, it's only it's only got ten pieces in there, so I want to increase it to around. I'll give it three hundred. Three hundred. So now you can see um, all the pieces increases. And then if we go on to that flat trip, not in here, and we press this visualize pieces, we can see all the pieces one by one. And all right, so now we're gonna put the um, what's that called? Um, what is it? What is it? Come on out. There we go. The retro body dynamics group objects. It's really different from the uh, the flat objects because that one is um. Um, every single piece is not stick together, so when you press it, the simulation is just gonna like break apart. But if you use the um, the glue objects here, they will stay together until something hit it. So it's um, yeah, so they are different. Uh, it's just like this this um, tools in here, but it's combined like this one, this two together and become one. So we click that one, and now we can see what is gonna happen because. Oh yeah. Let's try it again. I think that's already it. Yeah. Now it's quite heavy. I think it's gonna collapse by itself. Yeah, it's gonna collapse by itself. So um, if we go into the um, hold on, if we go onto the um the auto dot network, and inside there, there's a glue not in there. Um, yeah, here. So that's a string. How tough? The pieces stick together. So if you press one more zero and make it like ten times harder, they're gonna stay together. They're not gonna fall. So what we're gonna add now is an objects to interact with the um, the buildings right here. So if I go to create, make um, sphere right here. It's gonna make it bigger. Oh, maybe a little bit smaller. There we do. All right. Drag. Oh, drag it to the top. Like that. Just so I can um, aim to the directions I want to. And the higher it gets, the stronger the ball gonna impact the uh, the building. Right. So around here. Right. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna go to the rich body and the rig body objects for the ball. Now the ball's gonna hit the objects, the building. 
because we make the buildings really hard before, like inside the node, we make it 10 times harder. Now we might want to scale it down a little, just, just, just to see if it's going to crash. There we go. So we're going to adjust the, um, the different um, yeah, numbers until you think it's good enough for your project. Maybe like that. So, yeah, now it's not gonna fall apart by itself, but being impacted by the ball. And, um, we can go back to our memes building right here, and just turn off the, um, visualized pieces. And, um, just turn off the, uh, the ground plates. And, here we go. That's gonna destroy the building like that. And we can try to uh, give the ball different directions to impact the building. Maybe we can try it on the side and we will see how it gonna work like. Alright, like that. Oh! <laughs> like that. Just like what Cherry did last tutorial, you know, um, we're gonna add that LBD objects in there. Go inside the auto dot network, and this one is a second speed object, so we can delete the first one, second one. So inside here, the X is gonna be minus. That's nah, just too fast. Make it. 80? Let's see how it goes. Alright. So. There we go. <laughs> and uh, maybe we can make it mm, forward a little bit. Oh, jokes. There we go. Maybe make it even bigger. Like that. So I can destroy the whole things. Let's see how it goes. Alright, so the whole building is like crushed. <laughs> Alright, um, so there's a simple uh, destructions. It's just like that. It's simple. Oh yeah, real time. You're right, thank you. Real time. Yeah, what's the different? You're right. <laughs> So maybe it's a little bit fast, so the distractions will just go all the way. But um, yeah, that's a simple way to uh, destroy the building. Now we're gonna try how to add water, the water. to destroy the, um, the thing. So it's basically the same things, but you just make the um, the ball into um, uh, the fruit. Um, yeah, 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 fifth fruit. So we're gonna make a new one. We don't need to save it anyway. We just make a new one and um, make a tube. It's easy and simple. Uh, we go inside the tube objects, make the end caps. So we have the bottom and top, uh, just to make more columns. So we can have more detail when you breaking down the um, the pieces later on. Uh, we go back out to objects, make it bigger, and uh, top. Oh, we'll make it taller. Come on. Why is it not working? There we go. There we go. <laughs> right. There we go. And uh, same as before, we're gonna add a uh, ground plate like this. Uh, make it a little bit higher. Like this. Right. Okay. So same things again. Models, shelter, and then inside um inside the other uh, two objects. And the chunk centers, we can make it 150. We don't need it too much because we need um, the water simulation. It's going to be a lot to think. Yeah. So 150 is enough. Um, because it's a tube object, it really depends on the uh, the structure of your building, uh, for the strength of the um, how hot the um, the glue, the glue objects is. So if we 
if we click on to the, uh, the group objects here and we go into this node, the one we used before, we don't need that high because it's a tube object. It's really depend on the, uh, the shape and the geometry you're using. So why last time you needed such a high number and you were lowering down Cause because of the size of the object? Um, no, it's because um, when you because I built the, um, the building, it's really easy to break. You can only see it's like a table. But this like piece of yes. is like solid. It's like solid. It's yeah. like hard inside. So gotcha. they stick together easier than uh, the one I used yeah. before. Uh, so we can just lower down clever. maybe to 800 and see if it's going to collapse. No, not at all. Just one piece. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Maybe a thousand. It might stick better. There we go. Alright, let's stick together now. Okay, let's go back there. And okay, we can now make a sphere. Any object is fine. As long as it can impact the, um, the objects right there. And um, just, I want them. I want to see that. Alright, like this. And. I wanted to hit the angle here, so now I'm gonna go to the foot view from objects to make this into water. Now, um, if we want more detail on the water, all we need is to make this number even lower. I will make it 0 0.03. Yeah, now it's more detail on the water. And same things again. It's gonna impact the tubes right here. So we see how it goes. Wow. Can you turn on the um, real time? Oh, true, true, true. Oh. Real time, real time. There we go. Uh, it's gonna take a long time to uh, think because there's two simulations right there. Yeah. Water and, and the shelter. Yeah. It was my level crash. Like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I guess we might stop here because I have a pre record. Um, yeah, I have a pre. Yes. So it's gonna look like this. Alright, that's the one I did before, and that's the end result. Yeah, so, um, yeah, just like a foot box, not a render, but, um, yeah, the end result is gonna look like this. The water is gonna hit the tubes, and they're gonna, and uh, it's gonna destroy them, like a tsunami. That's what Jin want to do. But, I mean, it's a really simple version. If you want to do, like, really huge, um, Tsunami or like water simulations. Yeah, it's gonna be quite a long time to render, I guess. Yeah, because this one took a while just for the free books as well. But um, yeah. So oh, this is disappear. Hold on. Go back to beginning. Yeah, this only on 13 frames. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. But um, yeah. So that's my destruction simulations right there. Thank you.